Hi guys, my name is Eleni. I'm with Conspiration Birmingham. And today I want to show you how to make the uh, craft cakes that you guys received on your camp cargo box um, for camp life. So in your kit, you should receive either a circular pegboard or a square one, um, like this. You should have also received some written instructions, as well as a brush, some sandpaper, some gloves, an apron, uh, six uh, little wood pieces like this, and two shelves, a larger and a smaller. You should have also received some primary colors. You should have got four little um, buckets here with colors. We have white, yellow, blue, and red. Uh, that's also included in your kit. And then finally, you also received a roll of tape, which will help you design uh, your home board. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to talk about when making these is kind of the fact that you have four colors to work with, and they are primary colors. So those colors will allow you to make a variety of colors by mixing them together. Uh, so, you know, I recommend if you know how to mix colors, that's great. Uh, but if you don't, you can go online and look up a color wheel and it'll literally tell you what colors to mix together to make a different color. So for example, if you wanted to do pink, you would grab a little bit of white paint and some red paint um, and you would mix them up and essentially you would get pink. So I'm going to show you on this brush kind of what that looks like. Um, I'm mixing it in. It's already creating a lighter color. If I grab a little bit more red, I mean, sorry, white, it'll make it even lighter and it'll give me a hue of pink and it's no longer red. Okay. So some colors that you can make by mixing colors, um, more colors you can make would be orange. If you mix red and yellow, you can get green if you mix a little bit of your uh, blue with your yellow. You can do a lighter blue by adding some white. You can do a lighter yellow by adding white. You can do a lighter um, red by adding white or again, even push it to a pink by adding even more white. Uh, get creative and use those colors in any form that you can to create a different color and customize your piece, which is really what we want you guys to do today. So I'm going to show you kind of how to get started. Again, um, you have either a square or a circular pegboard. Uh, the front side of the pegboard looks like this. It's nice and flat. The back side, which is the side that you'll use to hang up your pegboard, has an actual line cut through it. That line is to allow any type of um, nail or screw to get inserted within there and then that um, will prevent it from falling off your wall. Okay, so this is the right side. This is the back side. Step you wanna do when starting with your pegboard is putting on your apron. You wanna make sure you don't get any paint on yourself. And you're also actually gonna get a piece of paper to put on your uh, crafting area. We add that in there to make sure that, you know, you don't get paint on your table uh, or whatever surface your floor, whatever surface you're using to get creative on. So lay that down first and then put on your apron, put on your gloves uh, to get you started. The first step after you're ready uh, to get creative is you're going to start sanding. So you want to just sand your wood piece with the piece of sandpaper that you have. You want to go a little bit on the top. You want to go on the sides, which are important. Um, and you want to get that done. Once you're satisfied and it, it feels pretty smooth, uh, you're ready uh, to start designing. So again, you have a roll of tape. And what you want to do is you want to cover whatever area you don't want tape on. Um, so I'm going to flip this over and show you guys an example of what I mean. So on this one here, we put tape on this line, this line, this line, and this line, and then colored each other little piece uh, a different color. So use your tape to go however way you want to create whatever design you want on your, the face of your pegboard. 
if you um, have other things at home like stencils or stickers, um, anything like that, you're more than welcome to use that too. Again, you want to customize this as much as you want. Uh, if you are super crafty and you own, you know, a glue gun or you have embellishments like uh, different seashells or pearls or anything like that that you want to add to your pegboard, uh, you can also do that later in the steps. But first, we're going to start with the painting part, okay? So again, I'm creating some lines on this side with tape. I'm just using my tape, creating my lines, getting creative with it, trying to make sure they're really as neat as you want them to be or not. It's completely up to you. I'm just going crisscross, making all types of lines on here, keeping in mind that all that is stuff that you're going to paint. Right now, um, this kind of abstract uh Art is really popular and trending online with the tape and the lines and creating different uh, shapes that then you paint in with whatever color paint you want. Okay, I'm going to do one more piece of tape right here. And I think that's going to be my design. Okay, so after you're done taping, uh, now you start with painting. So I'm going to grab some red, because that's what I started with earlier, and I'm just going to paint, 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 paint away. I'm sorry, I got stuck there. Paint away on my board. Uh, the tape will prevent the paint to go into another area. So see, that looks more of like a light pink, uh, kind of coral color than it does like an actual red. Now I want to, you know, replicate this color maybe here. So I'm just going to paint away that area that I mark off. There we go. So that's the only area that I'm going to do that pink red color, coral color on. So now because I'm switching colors, I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush. I have some water here, so make sure you get some water um, in any type of container will be fine. And then because these are sponge brushes, they do absorb a lot of water. So you want to have a little napkin handy to kind of squeeze out all that extra water and get all that off. Um, see all that paint that came off? So you want to get all that water off. Make sure your brush is as dry as you can get it. It's not going to be Perfect, that's okay. And now I'm gonna do some blue. I'm gonna add a little white to my blue there, and that should mix it and make it a little bit of a lighter color for me. So there's that part. And then next, I am going to pick another area where I wanna kind of have the same color. I think I'm going to do this right here. And this time it was a little bit lighter because I added some more white, but again, that's the beauty of mixing colors is you get some really cool colors that you originally, you know, you didn't start with. Um, those four colors that you guys have uh, will definitely allow you to get creative and create a lot of other colors. Uh, to suit your needs. So if you want it to match um, your room, to match some decor, maybe just your favorite colors, you know, you can create them with those four. That looks super cool. So again, I'm going to wash my paintbrush because I'm done with my glue. Just to pick a different color. Um, I think I'm going to do this white now in some areas. So I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to do some white here. And I'm going to get some more and I'm going to do some white here. With this brush and this paint, a little goes a long way, so you don't have to completely submerge your brush. Um, I recommend that you just grab a little bit and go from there. I really like the way this white is looking with that 
wood. So I'm going to keep using white to finish this off here. And again, you know, get creative. If you want to do lines going one direction, you like stripes, you can do that. If you want to um, do half the board one color, the other board another, you can do that too. Uh, let's say you want to do your school colors or anything like that, you can definitely make that happen. Uh, if you want to do your back the whole thing one color, you can do that too. Let's say you love red, so you want to do all of it red. That's definitely something you can also do. You know, again, make this completely your own. And if, again, if you have stencils, use those. You know, some people use letter stencils to do their name, uh, maybe the name of their favorite sport team. If you have a circle one and you like sports, um, I'm going to show you guys an example we have up here. So up here we have a basketball that we made. So we just colored it orange and then we made some lines with some paint. Um, and that was it. And we made a basketball. It was super simple. Uh, you can use a marker for the lines, like a black marker. You gotta let your background dry before you draw on it with a marker. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of white here, and then I'm going to be all done. Once you're done painting, you just let it dry for a little bit. Um, as long as you didn't put too much paint on there, it should dry pretty quick. And once it's dry, mine is almost dry, except for the air that just didn't white. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the tape. But once it's dry, you pull off your tape, like such. Any areas that are overlapping will be really easy to pull off uh, because they're on top of each other. So all that tape is going to be, let me just throw that away. We're not gonna need it anymore. Okay, so this is what that looks like. And I did this on the back of my board, just so you guys know, remember, this is not the correct side. I just wanted to show you guys an example. Um, the correct side is that side without the line, okay? So there you go. And if you wanna do a double-sided one, you absolutely can. You know, there's two sides to it. You can do that as well. So once you have that painted, you can set that aside for a minute. Um, and then what you wanna do is you want to start looking at your little pegs that we talked about. So these uh, could be a little rough getting into the hole sometimes. So what you have to do is you have to sand them off a little bit. So just sand this off a bit on both sides to try to make them fit in. These can also be painted if you want to. So if you want it to match the colors that you use, you can do that too. Um, the important part though is to sand it down to make sure that they all work pretty well. So just show you guys how to do that. You just grab your sandpaper and you sand away. Okay, do it on all six and on all on both sides of each one. The next thing are your shelves. So if you see any edges on here that need to be sanded, just grab your sandpaper, sand it again. The goal is to just make sure they're nice and smooth. And these are can also be painted if you choose to. Just remember if you paint your shelves or your little pegs here, let them dry um, before you do anything else to them. You can use a tape to also design on top of these, underneath these, whatever you want. Um, and just remember again, if you add embellishments, wait until all the paint is dry before you do that, okay? So once your uh, board is painted the way you like it and nice and dry then you want to kind of decide where you want to put you know your shelf so i think i want to do one up here and i'm going to wiggle these in again if these are hard to go in that means we just need to shave it down or sandpaper it down a little bit more um, and you can do that so just grab your sandpaper and do it a little bit more I'm gonna do one here. 
here. Okay, so you'll need four of your pegs for your shelves. You shelf, each shelf, sorry, has two um, little inserts for the pegs to go in under. That'll leave you left over with two. I'll show you what to do with these two in a second. And again, this is regardless of whether you have the uh, a square or the circle pegboard. They'll come with six little pieces and two shelves. So then I'm going to place my shelf here and here. Isn't that cute? And now I can use these two for whatever I want. Um, I like putting them on areas where I can hang things. So I can hang jewelry. I can hang my keys. Um, I can hang medals if, you know, you do sports. Really anything that you want uh, that you can hang hang can just really hang off these here and again go on your wall and you'll be able to display things so this I have a couple little plants and my a pair of glasses that I want to display so I'm gonna grab my plant put one there got this other little plant put it here and then there's gonna be a place where I'm gonna put my glasses and again I'll hang my jewelry there um, maybe even my keys when I walk into the house I can there even remember my masks right right now masks are super important to wear so I can hang my mask on the entrance of my house make sure it's hanging there so I don't forget it on my way out really the possibilities with these are endless um, again uh, please replay this video if you have if you need to see any of the process remember you have written instructions in your kit you can follow those as well uh, to make sure that you get you know the outcome that you want we hope you enjoy it um it's a really cool functional project that uh children's aid is providing for you guys today and we hope to see some samples and examples of the projects that you guys make again this is eleni with inspiration birmingham and please send us pictures or tag us tag us online on any of the um, projects that you guys create today thank you hope you have a good day